I'm pleased to raise this amendment 31 in my name as I feel there is a missed opportunity within this bill to extend the proposed protections to a group that have been overlooked within the legislation. Care home residents are, in effect, tenants in the same manner that students are, yet we see one group offer protection from the bill and one sidelined. Some care home charges fall under common law tenancies in a similar manner to student residential tenancies, for example, accommodation, utilities, food and insurance. As such, my amendment mirrors the wording of the existing provisions relating to student residential tenancies in the Bill to apply to eligible care home charges. Great effort has been put into the Bill to ensure that students are included, despite more complex arrangements potentially being in place. Yet that same concern has not been shown to care home residents. The Parliament Bills team, when looking at this, have advised that the independently funded supported person contracts could be considered equivalent to student accommodation and therefore within the scope of this Bill. I remember when Mercedes Villalba brought her amendment to the freeze rents to the Covid Bill and the Deputy First Minister responded at that time by saying what was wrong with the amendments, where the weaknesses were. And I intervened and asked him the question, but what are you going to do about the excessive rent rises being highlighted by Mercedes Villalba? And I bring this amendment here today to try and raise those same types of issues, mm -hmm. the excessive costs yeah. that, that, that people who are having to pay their own fees are filing being piled upon them. So today I am highlighting the plight of self-funders in care homes and their families who say to me they are being fleeced and no one seems to care. I'm hearing from care home residents who are currently facing month on month increases in charges that they are paying. While safeguards are in place for many tenancies to stop rent increases from taking place more than once a year, that same protection does not get afforded to care home residents who are self-funders. People are telling me that they are struggling to keep up with the continuous rises in fees and are seeing all their money disappear on these rises. Often these are people who have worked hard, have saved up through their entire life, only to see that money now disappear on ever-increasing care home fees. And it's worth restating, these are not people with major wealth. These are people who have worked hard all their lives, saved a bit and bought their homes. They now need support and care and are told that they have to pay for it. And as costs go up but local authority fees remain stagnant, they are the only source of additional income for private care home operators. I say again, the residents and their families feel like they're being fleeced and they want the same protections as all other renters have. I look forward to hearing what the Minister has to say on this matter. As I say, this cannot continue. These people cannot be ignored. And neither can the fact that the charges are continually being put up and it seems there's nothing they can do and nobody cares.